Greetings and welcome to another edition of Practical Assertion. This is going to be a little different from our previous editions in that we are introducing the first of a series of courses that we will be offering. We are introducing a concept that we call a course shop. It is a combination of a workshop and a course all in one. We have taken live recordings of workshops that we've conducted and included the presentation slides in video format. This will allow participants to experience the workshop as if they were there. That is, you will have the benefit of very rich dialogue while taking the course. The first in the series of courses that we will offer is entitled, How to Say No When All Systems Are Go. This course is aimed at single individuals who really want to try to live up to God's expectations to not engage in sexual activity before or outside of marriage. Now I know that on the surface, the topic may not seem too appealing because after all, who does not want to engage in sexual activity, right? Well, based on comments that we have received around the country, many Christian singles are struggling with this desire and really do want help. If you are serious about your relationship with God, you should share this sentiment as well. For those of you who may not be religious, you should also take this course because aside from the spiritual challenges, there are other relevant reasons to say no as well. I need not remind you, I'm sure, of the emotional scars, the emptiness, and the responsibility of raising a child or children all alone as examples, to name a few. For those of you who are part of your singles group at church, you are probably saying to yourself, I don't need another talk about sex. That's all we ever talk about. Well, let me just say, I can understand your dilemma, but let me ask you a question. Have any of the other discussions worked? Are you still struggling with refraining from sexual activity? If so, maybe this workshop or course will do the trick. Here is the course agenda. Statistics, causes, personal perspectives, understanding the systems, Eve's mistake, our mistake, scriptural perspectives, ramifications, and solutions. Now, before I give you a sampling of the course, let me also say to those of you who are not single, perhaps you have a relative, a coworker, a friend, or acquaintance that could use the perspective as well. We are offering an introductory offer just in time for the holidays, and that is if you order before Thursday, December 17th, 2015, we will knock $10 off the prices. This will allow us the possibility of getting those to you before Christmas should you desire to gift someone. So here are the packages that are available. First of all, the course shop, which is $45 regularly. That includes one DVD, the three modules are included. That's nearly three hours of video content. That is the PowerPoint presentation for those individuals who want to take the course. Next, we have the audio pack. It's $35 regularly. That's three audio CDs, nearly three hours of listening audio recordings of the workshop designed to allow for listening as you travel, perhaps in your car. And then finally the combo pack, $65, that's one DVD and the three audio CDs, total of six hours. The combo pack includes both the DVD and the CDs for those of you who want to have a set at home, perhaps, and one for the road. Again, if you order before December 17th, the course shop will be $35, the audio pack will be $25 and the combo pack will be $55. A workbook for the course is also available for $10, but there will not be a discount for this item. In this day of freedom of expression, there is tremendous pressure, both externally and internally, to engage in sexual activity outside of marriage. Singles need direction and guidance to avoid the urges. This workshop will not only give direction, but very practical solutions that will help you navigate the straits of singleness. As I close, let me give you a sampling of the workshop. So, here goes. All right, let's get going. Okay, well, when, when we first did this workshop, we, we asked this question, what would you like to get out of this workshop, right? But we decided to go a little different route this way. So, can we be real? Yeah. Okay, let's be real, all right? How many of you don't want to say no? Ooh, quiet in here. Okay, y'all do know what the topic is all about, right? How to say no 
when all systems are go, you do know what that topic is about, right? Give him a little bit. Okay, okay. So, so the, the premise of, of that workshop, or that title rather, is that as we get to certain stages in our lives, there are just some things that start to happen, you know, and it actually starts in what they used to call puberty. And I've heard people say puberty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which it is. I don't know which is correct. Um, but it does start there, right? These systems start to kick in, right? Hormones start raging and, and all of a sudden, you know, uh, young men, have y'all seen some of the young men at your church? They get up and they say prayer or whatever. And the voices go deep and, and then like this young man here, he's in my college class on Sunday morning. He starts to get hair on his face and, and stuff. So, so these systems start to go right about that time, right? And then there are some things that all of a sudden, man, I mean, I know I don't have to tell y'all. Y'all know. Stop acting like you don't know, right? Okay, so how many of you don't want to say no? And, and you know why I'm asking that question? Because in our society today, there is tremendous pressure on singles to engage in sexual activity. And we can either be real and talk about it, or we can pretend like it doesn't happen, and then we'll all be in trouble, right? And Brother Worthy and I, and my beautiful wife, oh, pause for station identification. I forgot to introduce my beautiful wife. Wendy moved so, she, so I can introduce my wife. Uh, beautiful woman, would you please stand? This is my beautiful wife, Kimberly, and uh, she is my blessing. She will chime in every once in a while, and she may have to leave, by the way. We've been running like crazy. That beautiful young lady sitting next to her is our daughter, and she graduated last night from high school, and she kept us up till 2.30, uh, and so we are dog tired, right? Uh, and so we're proud of Jazz. She's getting ready to go off to college. Yes. And then, <laughs> so anyway, uh, so, um, all right, so we're going we're gonna to get in here. So we can, we can pretend that this doesn't happen. Or we can go ahead and deal with it and deal with it so that we can be the best that we can be, right? Okay, so, all right. So, and here's why some of you might not want to say no. And that is, you tasted the chocolate. How many of y'all have tasted the chocolate? Oh, no hands on that either. Boy, look. Boy, when the cameras roll, y'all get real shy. <laughs> I did forget to tell you also, I start every presentation by telling you I'm crazy, right? So you all have just figured that out, right? Okay, so you all, some of you all have tasted the chocolate, and that's probably the reason you don't want to say no, right? Right now, right, okay? And you know how this starts? With a little kiss. <laughs> that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> I told y'all I was crazy. <laughs> all right, all right. So for those of you who want to say no, or for those of you who want to learn to say no, what does it imply when I say want to learn to say no? That you haven't been saying no. That's exactly right. Okay, for those of you that want to say no or learn how to say no, uh, the first thing you got to do is, uh, if you've already tasted the chocolate, you got to get that out of your mind. You gotta get that out of mind. So let's get rid of the chocolate, right? Okay, we got rid of the chocolate. Okay. Now, stand on your feet and repeat after me. Okay, everybody standing. Uh, baby, don't stand. <laughs> Patrick shouldn't be standing, he's married, right? Okay, for those of you who want, well, uh, you know what? I was talking to somebody today and there are some, some married people that need to learn how to say no. Just for the record. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all know some of those married folk. Oh. Anyway. All right. All right. Now, stand on your feet and repeat after me. Y'all ready? Okay. Y'all gonna raise your right hand? Okay. For those of you who want to say no or want to learn how to say no, repeat after me. Y'all ready? No. no. It's just that simple. Y'all can sit down. No, seriously. It is just that simple. Okay, and if it were that easy, we wouldn't need this workshop, would we? That's right. All right. So, so, so then let's let's go ahead and get started. So, and you know, you know, I know some of you, some of you start with good intentions, right? You you with that special someone, 
and and that special someone y'all are sitting there all by yourselves, you know. You got a young lady, you got a you got a girlfriend? No, not right now. You had one before heaven. Okay, so you remember how you get with that young per uh, that that person rather that special person, and y'all all by yourself, and y'all start hugging and kissing and stuff. But really, I remember when you had me come down to East Texas somewhere and do one of your your singles uh, retreats, and I talked about that hugging and kissing and stuff. And people say, and stuff, what's and stuff? <laughs> y'all know what, and, that's the reason y'all laughing, right? Y'all like and stuff. Okay, but, but, see, but see, here's what happens. And I know y'all are really trying to say no. And so when that person, when you give it that special person, and that special person, y'all start hugging and kissing and stuff, and they start going too far, you know what you'll say? No. No. And then when they keep pressing, keep going, you say, don't. And then when they keep going, Delicia, you say, stop. And then if they keep going, what do you say? No, no don't stop. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. See? See, and that's the problem. <laughs> I told you I was crazy. Didn't I tell you I was crazy? But <laughs> even Jazz is back there laughing. Jazz, don't be imitating now. Okay, now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I even crack myself up sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I hope that that little snippet excited you because we are clearly excited about our being able to offer this course to you. We've tried to go around to different churches, but uh, unfortunately, we can't seem to get to as many churches as we'd like to, uh, but maybe you could help us there. After you've taken this course, maybe you could encourage your church leaders to have us come by and offer this workshop for you and your team. So, I hope you're excited. If so, please go out to our website and go out to our store and order your media pack, whichever one meets your needs. We look forward to hearing from you. We hope that if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and we will get the information to you. So, all the information is on your screen and we'll be at the close of this video. Again, thank you for joining us this week for this edition of Practical Assertion and we look forward to seeing you next week for another edition and I promise you, next week will not be an infomercial. Take care. God bless you. See you next time. Goodbye.